Hello, I'm Jennifer Faulkner, Training Coordinator here at QuoteWorks. In this video, I will demonstrate how to create two different types of bundles. This feature allows you to add a group of items to your quote with just one click. By using this powerful tool, you will be able to save a tremendous amount of time. Let's get started. QuoteWorks offers two types of bundles, simple and grouped. Before walking you through how to create and add these bundles, I will show you the differences between the two. Simple bundles are used to add a basic list of items to your quote that have no relation to one another. As you can see, a simple bundle is just a list of individual items. It is the same as if I were to add the items individually from the product lookup window. Simple bundles are an easy way to save time by adding multiple items you may sell together often as a save list. Group bundles are groups of items that will display under a single description. The prices for the individual items will be hidden and automatically totaled and displayed on a single line. On the quote workbook, you can quickly identify a grouped bundle by the yellow highlighting of the item and the grouped heading line. These grayed out prices indicate that they are hidden and will not be displayed on the quote. If I were to adjust the price of any of these individual items in the group, the price of the group heading line will change in relation to the new item price. In addition, a group bundle can have its own part number, item type, description, discount, and tax code. You can also set a group bundle as a recurring group, which enables you to set the group bundle with recurring monthly payments. Now, let's take a look at a sample quote layout to see how a simple and a group bundle are displayed to a customer. The line items in a simple bundle are displayed on the quote as regular line items with item details. The line items in a group bundle are displayed underneath the bundle description. The prices of the individual items are hidden and totaled up on the same line as the bundle description. Here is an example of the same group bundle that has been modified to not display the individual line items. Now that you are familiar with the two types of bundles, I'm going to show you how to create them. There are two different ways to access the bundle window. You can go to Products on the menu bar and select Bundles. Or, an easier way is to simply click on the bundles icon to the shortcut toolbar. This window will allow you to search for a bundle and will also display a list of your current bundles. By default, the Show All option will be selected. If you have an extensive list of bundles, you can search for a specific item by selecting Filter. Filter will allow you to search by the bundle's name, description, or internal note. Under each search option, there are even more ways to filter your search as well. Below our results window, you can clone, create, edit, and delete a bundle. I'll first show you how to create a simple bundle. To create a new bundle, click on New. From here, you will enter the name of the bundle. The name you enter here will only be referenced in the bundles window and will not be customer facing. Next, I will select the bundle I just created and click on Edit. The Edit Bundle window has four tabs, Settings, Items, Custom, and Custom Memo. The Custom and Custom Memo tab will only be available when making a grouped bundle. The Settings tab is where you will select the type of bundle you are creating. Since I am creating a simple bundle, I'm going to select the first option. You are able to edit the name of the bundle. Once again, this name is not customer facing. You are also able to add internal notes. These can be used as internal notes to you and your staff, or can be used as a great way to quickly search for bundles. The Items tab is where you will be able to add the individual items to your bundle. On this tab, you can add a new line, as well as Add, Edit, and Remove Items. Adding a new line is a simple way to include comments or heading lines in your document. To add a new item, click on Add. The product lookup window will appear. From here, you can select the item you wish to add to your bundle. You can hold down the control key to add multiple items at one time. Note that items added to a bundle must have a manufacturer part number. When you add an item to your items list, the Edit Bundle Item window will appear. The Source Database field will be pre-filled with the product database from which the item was retrieved. You can change the source database by simply clicking on the drop-down menu. The manufacturer part number is the part number of the selected item. 
The description is retrieved from the part number defined in the product database. The quantity field allows you to set the quantity of the item. By default, it is set to 1. The sort order code allows you to define the order in which the items in the bundle will appear when added to the quote. By default, the sort order code is set to tens. This item here is the last item in the bundle. If I wanted to make this item the first item to appear in the bundle, I would need to change the sort order code to a number less than 10. As you can see, when I change the sort order code to 5 for this item, it is now at the top of the list. The line type and line attribute settings allows you to further specify the properties of the item when it is added to the quote. A detailed explanation of item properties and item attributes can be found in the advanced bundle tutorial which I have linked below. If you need to access the Edit Bundle Item window again, you can either double click on the item you wish to edit, or select the item, then select Edit. My simple bundle has now been created. Now, let's create a group bundle. Just like the simple bundle, I'll click on New, type in the name of the bundle, select the bundle I just created, and click on Edit. To create a group bundle, select Group Bundle in the Bundle Type drop-down list. This window is very similar to the simple bundle. From here, you can rename the bundle, type in internal notes, assign a part number, which is going to be the same as the manufacturer part number. You can add a vendor part number and set the item type. In my installation of Coatworks, I have four item types to select from. You may have different options in your installation. Here is where you will enter the bundle description to further elaborate the contents of your bundle. The bundle description you enter here will be displayed on the quote as the group header line and is defaulted to be customer facing. This button allows you to add a picture to your group bundle. This photo is defaulted to be customer facing. If you made a mistake, you can simply click the remove picture button here. Unit Price Override allows you to modify the pricing of the bundle as a whole product regardless of the individual item's prices. This updated price will show under the unit price in the quote workbook. Every company is different, so this is a great way to keep your pricing consistent. To apply a discount to a group bundle and to convert a bundle to a recurring group, click on Group Properties. When you are rolling up multiple items into a single product, you may need to apply a discount to the group. Group Bundles gives you the ability to apply a discount modifier. To apply a discount to the bundle, click here. From here, you will be able to enter the discount percentage amount. The discount modifier will be placed into the price modifier column of the single group line item. For the tax code, selecting taxable will apply the tax to the bundle amount after the discount has been applied. Selecting non-taxable will apply the taxes to the total amount of the bundle before the discount is applied. To convert a group bundle into a monthly recurring amount, select this checkbox. From here, you can choose to include the first payment in the document. Then, you can choose from either the document contract dates or enter a specific date range on when you would like the payments to begin and end. Here is where you'll be able to set up your calculation. All the individual items in the bundle will be told according to the APR, annual percentage rate, or lease factor. Then you are able to set the term here. We have created a separate video that provides more details on how to use recurring groups. Adding items to a group bundle is going to be the same as a simple bundle. I will click on the items tab and click on add. Then select the items I need. In a group bundle, the Hide Price checkbox is selected by default. If you wanted to show the individual prices of the group, you would simply uncheck this box. If you want to hide the descriptions of the individual items and show only a single description of the bundle, you would uncheck Print Line. The Don't Include in Group option can be used several different ways. The main purpose of this setting is to create multiple items at the end of the bundle that are not included in the group. With this feature, you can essentially have a group bundle, and then below it, a simple bundle. This allows you to make modifications to certain items, or allows those items to be optional to the customer. Custom and Custom Memo are tabs that allow you to add information to an item that may not currently be available in the system. For example, under Custom, I change this field to say Color. 
From here, I can enter the color of the product. This will now appear on my quote workbook as seen here. The custom memo tab allows you to enter more characters in case you need to add a longer description. For my example, I changed the first box to protocol and can enter my text in the text box. Just as the custom tab did, my updated header and text will appear on my quote workbook. The group bundle is now complete. Now that you have learned how to create a simple and a group bundle, let's add the group bundle I just created to the quote. To add a bundle to your quote, you can either double click on the bundle or use these buttons to insert or add the bundle to your quote. By selecting insert into quote, the bundle will be placed above the currently selected item. By selecting add to quote, the bundle will be placed beneath the last item of the quote. If you would like to add the bundle under a certain heading or new section header, you are able to do so here. You have the ability to create a new heading or section header. If one exists, it will populate under this list. If you are creating a new header, once you select OK, it will appear under the quote workbook. To add a bundle under the header, simply select the header of your choosing. Then double click, insert into quote, or add to quote. When you try to add your bundle to your quote, you will be prompted to enter the quantity. For a group bundle, the quantity you enter will increase the number of the group bundle header, not the individual line items. For a simple bundle, the quantity for each item will be adjusted individually. As you have seen in this video, the bundle feature is a powerful tool that gives you the ability to quickly add grouped items to your document with various options to fit your needs. This tool will help save you and your staff valuable time. If you have any questions or need assistance, please contact our tech support team at 407-248-1481, extension 3, or email us directly at support at quoteworks.com. Thank you for watching.